Hello everyone, hope everyone is doing well. So this is another video to help uh, Blacklist FC7. Uh, he's a user on Reddit. So he wants to download a file, right? Then um, rename the file as a new name as the previous month, yyymm report. So I have um, shown him how to get the previous month date in my uh, previous video so I'm, I'm not in this video I'm not going to show you how to get previous month and uh, he said the file name will be different each time right and then he has a problem uh, he's using a recorder which I don't think uh, we need to use that for this uh, instance um, he also said uh, power automate desktop wasn't able to recognize the file that he uh, downloaded. Hello everyone, my name is Hao Zhong. I'm here to help you to use Office Work tools such as Excel and Power Automate. If you think my videos are helpful, please help me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you. So I have uh, created a test file, right? That I have downloaded. So it's test.xlsx. And, and this is the latest date that I have uh, downloaded it. I mean the latest date in this folder because I have just uh, downloaded it. Uh, so you go to Power Automate Desktop. The first step is you need to get files in folders. So the download folder, right, will be a very unique uh, file, uh, folder path. So it depends on your username. So to do that, you need to go back to the folder, right click on downloads, go to properties, then you can see the location. So whatever your location is, right, do uh, uh, another uh, backslash and then write download. So this is what I have done, the location path, then uh, backslash, then uh, downloads. File, fi file filter is asterisk. Then go to at once. Uh, fill upon deny access to any subfolder enabled. Sort by, so this is very important, creation time. So you we want to modify the latest file that is downloaded. And then uh, in the sending order, enabled. All right. The rest you can leave it as uh, default. Then we rename file. All right. So the requirement is yyyymm dash sales report. So we will need to rename the test file to dash base sales report first, then only we include YYYMM in front. This is how uh, we do it in Power Automate desktop. So file to rename, okay, is uh, percentage files uh, square bracket zero and then close square bracket, then um, percentage, All right? The reason we do this is we want to pick the first file to rename that we have uh, sorted just now. So this is the, 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 the list of files from step one. So you can see um, zero is the first file, right? You click on more, you can see files, then open bracket, close bracket zero, right? So because we want to rename the first file that we have sorted, we we will we will key in like this right files zero rename scheme set new name so there's a whole list of things that you can do add text remove text replace text change extension it that it that date time or make sequential then the new file name okay should be dash space Sales report. You can keep extension or you can um, put in your own extension. Right. 
So normally we keep extension. If file exists, uh, override. Right. So it depends on uh, what you want. If file exists, you can do nothing. Uh, variables produce is rename files. Okay, so we have um, rename to rename the file to dash sales report. Now we need to get the files in folder again because we have already renamed the file one time. So put in the same folder, file filter, asterisk, um, same. So file upon deny access to any subfolder, enable, sort by creation time, descending, uh, enable. So, so basically you can actually just copy the first step and uh, put in uh, as the third step, All right? Um, I think the rest, yeah, leave it as default, it's an actual copy, right? Then you renew file again. So file zero, right? Now you add date time. Then um, I think the user need to use custom date time because um, he wants the previous month. But uh, this in this video, I'm just going to use uh, date time to add uh, current date time. So the user can use use custom date time and then put put a variable here like for previous previous month date time for his purpose. So then uh, we add date time. So we want to add before the name. Separator is space. Date time format is y y y y then m m. If far exists, override or do nothing, depends on what you want. Then variables produced is rename files. And you click save. All right, so you can see now, it's test right here. I'm going to run the workflow. So now, see, it's renamed to the current uh, year and month dash sales report so i hope this video has helped you uh, please give this video a like and uh, please remember to subscribe i will see you guys in the next video bye bye thank you